an American Renaissance in Fort Wayne. Muralist from the Allen County Courthouse is what you can experience here at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art. They have a brand new exhibit and I'm going to talk to their co-curators about what you can experience and I'm taking you on the inside. Let's do it. Joining me now is Robin, the executive director at the Allen County Courthouse Preservation Trust, and Sachi, who is the curator of prints and drawings here at the Art Museum. Hello, ladies. Hi, thanks for having us. Yes, so this is so cool to explore the muralist of the Allen County Courthouse and just really taking us on this journey throughout this exhibit. So can you start by sharing with me why you all decided to um, give this to us? One of the reasons this exhibit is so special is we were able to acquire an original study from Charles Holloway. Charles Holloway painted the murals in the rotunda that you see daily when you walk in there. The study would have been what he used to create those murals and we were able to acquire one a couple years ago. Yes, that's so cool. So by acquiring this study, it is actually some of the original art work that was inspired or, or that was used to create the murals, is that correct? That's right. It's a gridded study, it's a watercolor, and so this would have been the same images in the same scale and similar colors would have been used at the time. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And as you put together your co-curator of this exhibit, how did you decide what pieces to bring in from history to make it all come to life? It makes it difficult when you're dealing with specific murals and we were able to not only um, we had the one here in Fort Wayne, but we borrowed a number of works from the Memphis Brooks Museum. Initially, they were, they were going to be on loan to us, but um, they turned around and made it a donation. So they'll be here with us forever. And those are by another muralist at the courthouse, Carl Gutherz. That's so cool. And let's talk about um, a little bit of the history and how this all started, really, because when you think about a courthouse, you're like, OK, is there historic value in art, you know, within the walls? But this was something that was started a long time ago when they started. I think it was the Congress, um, the Congress Library, who originally started putting in really cool art pieces and kind of making it more attractive to the eye. And this kind of carried on. So share with us the historical aspect of having these pieces at the Allen County Courthouse. I think the Midwest was lucky to have these artists here at the time, but also our architect, Brent Wintolin, was an artist himself. And so he called for artwork in this courthouse. And it's, um, we have one of probably the most special courthouses, I think, in the United States. But also the artwork was valued at about $42 million a couple years ago. So wow. there's not only murals in there, but there's Galliola, stained glass domes, um, and caustic tile floors. So it's, it's rich with history and art. Yes. So this is only the tip of the iceberg, the muralists, in addition to all these other art forms. Mm -hmm. And bringing in culture just from the 1900s is just so cool to see. So as people walk around this exhibit and as they read and learn and really just absorb each of the pieces, what can they expect? I think what's interesting is that there's different examples where you start to see the artists working on some sort of thought, some sort of composition, and maybe in the course of like four drawings you figure out, he figures out, this is the way I want it to look. So you have very rudimentary drawings to pretty finished drawings. So you can start to see the working process of the artist. That is, that's so cool. And I know that there are two artists in particular um, that are featured throughout this exhibit. And I see that you all have a timeline that really uh, takes you on this journey. So can you explain the timeline? Well, uh, it starts with Carl Gutherz, because obviously he's the older artist. Um, he and Charles Holloway did overlap with each other. They were both in St. Louis. Um, they just spanned different careers. Good Harris was more of an easel painter and Charles Holloway was more of the muralist and stained glass and they came together in Fort Wayne. Um, and so the timeline highlights a lot of their um, moments where they you know, um, received fame for what they were working on. Yes, yes. And Robin, as the executive director of the Preservation Trust, um, what does this mean to you? Like to, to have, you know, this museum feature your courthouse in this way. How does it feel? Well, we love the Fort Wayne Museum of Art and they've been great friends and great collaborators of ours. So to see 
artwork taken from the courthouse and on exhibit. I mean, Sachi knows, I almost cried when I walked into <laughs> yeah. the gallery because it, it is so special. And then the guests can walk in and experience it on a face-to-face -face level and read a little bit more, learn a little bit more about the artist and the architect of the Allen County Courthouse. Mm, that's wonderful. And Sachi, can you share about the lecture that um, is coming and that will be in collaboration to just take this whole exhibit to the next level that the community can attend? Yeah, so this is part of the, we're launching the Mastrangelo um, lecture series. It's a new um, series and we've invited Dr. Mark Mitchell. Um, he's a curator at the Yale Mu Museum of Art and he's the specialist in this time period um, and his, he's working on an exhibition focusing on the human form but especially in preparatory studies for murals and so during this time period so you really can't get anything more similar than that so. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for sharing more about this exhibit and opening it up for the community. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yes. If you would like more information about this new exhibit here at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art, we'll have their website listed below, and I'll see you after the break.